order, Mr. Speaker. The chairman. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Many members will have been shocked to see the newspaper headlines this morning. Not just the terrible revelation that there were not one but two additional parties at Downing Street in 2021, the night before the Queen sat mourning alone at her husband's funeral, the defining image of lockdown. But the story in one newspaper this morning appears to be a leak of the outcomes of Sue Gray's inquiry into those parties. Now, on Wednesday, the Prime Minister promised that on the publication of this report into the Downing Street parties, he would make a statement to this House. For important policy announcements, Mr Speaker, you have previously made clear that the Government should announce them to this House first, so that we can fulfil our job representing our constituents, who will of course want to question the Prime Minister over these findings. So for an issue of this importance, Mr Speaker, I wondered what guidance you could offer to ensure that Government ministers and officials do not leak the outcomes of this report in advance, especially if those attempts to do so look like they are exonerating the Prime Minister before we in this House see the contents of that report. Thank you. I am grateful to the Honourable Member for giving notice of her point of order. The issue she has raised is a very important one and one in which the House is extremely interested. It will be entirely inappropriate, discourteous to this House, for any findings of the inquiry to be released to the media before being announced to this House. I cannot be clearer on this matter. I expect the Government to announce the findings of the inquiry to this House first and I will treat any failure to do so as a gross discourtesy to this House.